We're talking to Holly, formerly of MAFS, now moved on, thankfully, moved on very well, but indeed. So, Holly, you're trying to get on with your life, but it was uh, fair to say a traumatic experience being involved in that show. <laughs> fair. Yeah. Yeah. And is Holly, it, yeah. can I just ask, and we always talk about editing, we always talk about different things with MAFS, and it's quite well publicised that people tend to struggle afterwards. Would Would you say that you were in an uncomfortable pretty crappy situation for a fair while that they were aware of? Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I can say it's reasonably fair, but I don't know how well aware because um, Andrew was, um, he was good at speaking and, um, you know, so like our the, producer. He was your partner on the show. Yeah. He's, he's the guy that you had to marry. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. But our producer, like I think he had everyone wrapped up that he was this great guy and then off camera he was so horrible to me. I'm trying to tell my producer like, this is what's happening. And she's like looking really confused. Um, yeah. So I think um, it wasn't till the end where they, when they really realized, wow, this guy's a bit of a tool. But there was, there was a number of inappropriate situations, which, you know, should have meant that you just left the show straight away. Yeah. After the couch, I actually said to my producer, that after that first couch, I sent at 4am, I sent my producer a text. I said, if I'd realized that it was this disgusting, I wouldn't have written stay. This was filthy. And obviously, you know, it's a TV show. They're invested in your story. They want to hear about your story. So they kind of wrap you up together. They wrap you up with sticky tape to kind of keep you there to sort of play out the story as much as possible. And there was an encounter that you had with him and that, and, and your, what you said about it afterwards that was edited together to make it sound like you had said it was a good experience. Yeah, yeah. Look, you know what? You only see 1% and they have a, a storyline they want to run with. So they absolutely do piece but, but, together. But cutting you your said. words from different statements, putting them together yeah. to make it sound like you had a beautiful time. Yeah, well, they did. When, that's more than a cheeky that's edit. That's terrible. That's actually criminal almost. That's actually not right, especially when you, you are the person that's subjected to whatever the backlash is or whatever the reaction is to that. Yes, you sign up to a reality show. Yes, it's part and parcel that there's going to be attention and they're going to edit in a way that makes it more appealing to audiences, but they should never cut up your words to make a sentence that conveys a meaning that you did not convey. Look, yeah, absolutely. It is hard, but at the end of the day, you literally sign a contract saying you can portray me in any which way. But look, mm, at the end of the day, yeah. I'm really lucky. I've got so much warmth from the community. Um, my boy and I, we went to, um, we, we actually went on a holiday in January and I literally had people tap me on the shoulder, say, oh my God, I'm so glad to see that you've moved on. Um, I've got nothing but warmth. So, did, But did they shut down your interviews after you were you with us the first time? Yeah. So yeah. they said no more interviews for you? Correct. They didn't want me to say, because you're only seeing 1%. So, and I have said it, you know, um, that you know, he was worse than what you saw. Um, you know, not once did you see him yell at me. So, you know, I just think that they didn't want me to sort of say how bad it really was. So he was, was yelling at you? Oh, yeah. Look, you know what? At the end of the day, you know, I've moved on. I'm in a really good place. Oh, yeah. um, he, he wasn't nice, but... You know, yeah, but I don't you should wanna... never be subjected to that, particularly in a workplace, which that essentially was, because yeah. that is a workplace. You're doing a show, it's, it's, a paid yeah. show for TV. You know what? It's it's, it's such a weird, um, it's such a weird dynamic. You do go there thinking, uh, you know, I'm I've got honest intentions and I'm I'm going to meet someone. Um, you know what? But I think it's uh, that show really is a reflection of life. Sometimes yeah. you know, you you know, I mean, y you've been um, you know married before, Erin, and and you know, I'm I'm almost thirty seven now, and it's hard to meet that real person. You know, I think really in is. any relationship, <laughs> I say that y y relation. There's no such thing as a fairy tale. Like Instagram, like I'm I'm posting these beautiful photos of my boy, but we're in a relationship. You know. I think you're always searching for a fairy tale, but you've got to find yeah. someone who's willing to work every day, um, understand each other, get to know each other. Um, and you and know, just I, be honest. Yeah, That's and all just you be want, honest. Isn't it? And, you know, on the show, I think it's a reflection of life. You know, sometimes right, well, you meet we, someone shit and... Uh, right, well, so yeah, now yeah, we're saying it was a great experience. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking no, about no, going no. On. But the show, you see so many, you see bullying, you know, on the show, yeah. you see bullies, you see relationships you're not right, working out. You're right, they exist out, in real life. And yeah. they Absolutely. exist. It's a, but what I'm saying is when it's part of a TV show with a production company behind it, there are certain things that should never be tolerated. There's the, every, yeah. Nothing should be tolerated in your home, but no. there are certain things in there that you should be protected from and you weren't. I, I hope it's a wake-up call. I hope it's a wake-up call for them. Yeah. <laughs>